Hello everyone. I wrote uh, something that I would dedicate to my younger self and maybe it will help to some of you. So if you want, I can just read it. I'm gonna read it. Lessons from 26 years old, message to my 16 year old self. First lesson would be things won't change on their own. Try doing something about them. If you don't get along with the classmates, at least try saying what you really think. Sometimes people need feedback to stop doing bad things. Find someone you can trust. You want someone who will listen to you non-judgmentally until you stop feeling like shit and you can start doing things. Uh, girls do better this way because they let their emotions go out. You know? And uh, there was a little bit extra that I wrote here was if nothing works, don't be too scared to switch schools or classes. If like if nothing is working. You, you say, never mind. Okay, lesson number two would be boredom and necessity can be your starting point, point to doing something. I mean, not can, but I would say should, but I don't like using the word should. These two are good, like, for example, fear is not good. Because once you're, once you're out of fear, once you're not afraid anymore, then you're kind of screwed. Lesson number three. Gaming helped put my mind at ease, but at 26 I feel like a bear who slept through 10 years. 10 year long winter. Having no savings sucks, especially when your best friend has a degree and $30,000. And when you meet a girl and um, you're relatively attractive, but because you have no savings that's the reason why you can't make it happen. That sucks as well. And then lesson number four would be, in addition to point number one, you heal by processing your emotions and after that more hope for life will come. Two good ways to do that is by talking about them and sitting with them, not trying to escape too much. This is important because, uh, I don't know, usually you want to avoid bad feelings and but one good thing really is to sit with them, to just... <laughs> I'm not I'm not really sure this is 100% right but I heard this advice from someone I respect a lot and for example when I'm really hungry and I want something sweet I usually can I don't think that counts as it it's more like um, you get into a situation where you're embarrassed about something you have like intrusive thoughts but then you just think of them instead of avoiding them and then it's fine and uh, for example you say something to your close one for example uh, I have doubts about this and this and then it's weird that happened to me with some girl like I I, th I told her I had some doubts about our relationship or whatever and after that the doubts like went away I didn't even think about doubts anymore just like I, I didn't care anymore about it I mean, I guess not completely, but it didn't bother me to the point that we were before. It went a lot easier. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of emotional right now. Not emotional, but whatever. Let's go to number to number five. Try to see good in people who are who are behaving bad, but don't tolerate bad. Okay, this is important. I can't really say much because I've already talked so much about the other points. And if you're a woman, be afraid of men because 1% of us will exploit and can be dangerous. I'm just saying like, be careful more than... I understand why women are careful and they should be that way. There was one time when I went on a date and I just like... Um, we went somewhere where there wasn't a lot of people and I tried like holding her hand and she was kind of scared like I understand that I was thinking back then like uh why why what, what I'm not trying to do anything like crazy but I understand that it's a bit scary you know if you're not strong enough to like fight back and whatever okay let's go last point now point number six for dating value is everything Confidence comes from knowing you have something valuable to offer. Good book for me was, I realized a lot of this stuff by reading, I actually wrote, uh, read half of this book, not the whole, or maybe a little more than half. Evolutionary Psychology by David Bass. 
and for a woman looks and recognition is important that explains why so many women have Instagram accounts where they show off their bodies you know I believe that, I, that that's not all that's in the book that's part of my uh, opinion and for men money looks money ma <laughs> money looks and being brave okay money matters for being able to offer security not so much for pleasure you know um, yeah that's it and you're welcome and thanks for watching